What's up everybody, it's Castaponics! Welcome back to the channel where we geek out over the wonders of hydroponics. Today we're diving deep into the lifeblood of your hydroponic system, the nutrient solution. It's like the special sauce, the secret formula that keeps your plants thriving. Now you might be thinking, isn't it just water and some plant food? Well, it's a little more nuanced than that. Too much of one thing or not enough of another can spell disaster for your leafy companions. But fear not intrepid growers, because in this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know to keep your nutrient solution in tip-top shape. Get ready to take some notes. All right, first things first, we got to talk about monitoring your nutrient solution. Think of it like checking your plant's vital signs. The two key players here are electrical conductivity, or EC, and total dissolved solids, or TDS. EC measures the concentration of nutrients in your solution. It's like checking the saltiness of the ocean, but for plants. Too much salt, or in our case, nutrients, and your plants get dehydrated. Not enough, and they're basically on a starvation diet. To measure these, you'll need a handy-dandy EC TDS meter. Trust me, it's worth the investment. Next up, we gotta talk about pH, the measure of how acidic or alkaline your solution is. Most hydroponic plants prefer a slightly acidic environment, somewhere between 5.5 and 6.5. Measuring pH is a piece of cake. You can grab yourself a pH meter or use some nifty pH test strips. pH up and pH down solutions are your new best friends. Just add a few drops at a time until you hit that sweet spot. Remember, slow and steady wins the pH race. All right, time for a little spring cleaning hydroponic style. Just like you wouldn't want to swim in a pool that's never been cleaned, your plants deserve a fresh start every now and then. That's where changing your nutrient solution comes in. A good rule of thumb is to change it every two to three weeks. This prevents nutrient imbalances and the buildup of nasty stuff like salts and pathogens. Trust me, your plants will thank you for it with explosive growth. Now between those full-on solution changes you gotta keep an eye on the water level. As your plants drink up and water evaporates, the nutrient concentration can get all out of whack. That's why it's crucial to top off your reservoir with plain water regularly. We're not adding any nutrients here, just pure, clean H2O. This ensures your plants always have access to the hydration they need without messing up the carefully balanced nutrient cocktail you've created. Let's talk about the building blocks of your nutrient solution, the nutrients themselves. Just like you wouldn't fuel your body with junk food, your plants deserve the best. I always recommend using complete hydroponic fertilizers. Think of it like a multivitamin for your plants. Now there are tons of brands and formulations out there, so it's worth doing a little research to find the best fit for your specific plants and setup. Now let's talk about keeping things squeaky clean in your hydroponic system. A dirty reservoir is like a breeding ground for algae, bacteria, and all sorts of nasty stuff that can harm your plants. That's why I make it a habit to give my reservoir a good scrub every time I change the nutrient solution. You can use a soft brush and some plain water to wipe down the sides and remove any buildup. We want a clean and healthy environment for those roots to thrive. Last but not least, let's talk about oxygen. Just like us, plants need to breathe. In a hydroponic system, we gotta make sure those roots are getting enough oxygen to thrive. That's where an air pump and an air stone come in. The air pump pumps air into the solution through the air stone, creating a constant stream of bubbles. This keeps the solution oxygen rich, especially in systems like deep water culture where the roots are submerged. And there you have it folks, that's the rundown on maintaining the perfect nutrient solution for your hydroponic garden. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the link in the description to get access to a free hydroponic nutrient maintenance checklist. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tips on hydroponics. Until next time, happy growing.